everyone, Mackenzie Thurkill here. For those of you who may not know me, I'm the team reporter for Orlando City and the Orlando Pride. And this is OCV, and I am currently in my bedroom, but that's besides the point. The point of this is that we're going to take you behind the scenes this season to show you things that go on with Orlando City and Orlando Pride that you, the fans, don't get to see on a daily basis, or maybe something that we don't post on social media even though YouTube is social media, kind of. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is, is to take you behind the scenes, show you kind of what goes on from my point of view and maybe a few other people's point of view throughout the season as well. And to get it all started, we're going to go to Jacksonville for 10 days with the team as they get ready for their season. They're going to go do preseason camp. And I have my trusty suitcase all packed and ready to go. So let's hit the road and I'll see you in Jacksonville. Good morning, everybody. We're finally at the training facility for day one in Jacksonville training. Say hi, Rafa. Hello. <laughs> He's our communications manager. So we're just waiting for the guys to come out. They're lacing up, stretching right now before they take the training pitch. So let's see what they get up to today. It's cold. It's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> hi, Jeff. Hello. What are you doing? Trying to get some good audio today of Jason. What is with the shirt? I thought it was going to be colder and it's a long sleeve, so I thought I was going to be bundled the whole time. But, it and you can't hot. really take off your jacket because know, that I'm, would look weird. I'm just repping the gators. Fair enough. So I'm it so training is still going on, but I actually have to make my way back to Orlando for a broadcast meeting because, you know, with the season being around the corner, it means broadcasts are coming up soon. Woo! Way sooner than I was anticipating. But I get to see all the guys again, also get to see all the radio guys. We're going to have a meeting, have a fun little photo and video shoot, which I'm going to take you behind the scenes of. So I'll see you when I get back to Orlando. A few moments later. Hi, in Orlando. With Jeff Radcliffe. Oh, we, oh, I thought you were taking a photo. No, we're doing a video. It's just for the vlog. Okay. The we're vlog. about to take um, some, some publicity photos. We took some. And yeah. We're going to do some for, for, for uh, WFTV and WRDQ. Yep. Right? Yep. And very, then very cool. you have Miguel in the background. You can see Miguel. Who's yeah. Styling ready. and profiling. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so we're, all, we're, we're all normally, officials. Normally not allowed in. We're typically not allowed in here. No, we're all official without the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Jeff's going to be doing play by play this year. I don't see uh, uh, number nine. Oh, I forget. I'm not going any further. Did they, did they, did you just record? Oh, um, it's a video. Oh, hi, right. Mom. This is Irene. She does all of our hair and makeup. Including mine. Then we have Paul over here. How are you doing? We'll be on the broadcast again this year. Very excited. Paul's looking forward to it. Yep. I don't wait as normal. All right. Good time. We're going to do some photos and videos, so wish us luck. Why we can't have nice things. <laughs> so we're uh, standing out here on the beach and I feel like it's the end of the world because you genuinely can't see anything. It's just fog everywhere. <laughs> you can't even see not even half a mile that way. It's absolutely ridiculous. Pretty sure it's the end of the world as we know it. But <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't even think we could drive and leave the hotel for dinner if we wanted to because you wouldn't be able to see me on the road. I'm also shaking the camera really bad because I'm freezing right now. I'm not meant for cold weather or fog. We have the drone out at training today, piloted by Ed Cahill. What's up? Let's see how long it lasts before this turns into target practice. Like no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 
Where's your uh, drone? It's in Ed? a tree. 30 what? feet up in a tree. What happened? I was shooting training and I hit a tree and now it's stuck up in the tree. So I got to find a way to get it down. This is why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> so now we have to do a drone rescue. The plan is to attach a wrench to a rope. This is not going to work well. <laughs> and hope that it doesn't fall into yeah, it, it's all like the water that's right there. It falls into water. Which, knowing my luck, is a 100% chance. If I can even get the rope untangled. Because I was stupid and tied a wrench to it first. <laughs> so we're in the car to go to the airport to pick up Justin Miro. Yay! Yay for fun Wednesday night airport runs. <laughs> Only gets in at like 9.45. Eric's ready. For Justin's arrival. Nice. There's Joe. Summer. And now we wait. Look who finally arrived. Justin's here. Now we just have to go get his bags, then go back to the hotel, and he will be joining the team at training tomorrow. Hotel life, day five. I'm in my hotel, eating a salad getting ready to watch Peaky Blinders, which I'm almost done with season two, and I started season one like two days ago. So I've literally spent about 10 hours of my life just watching Peaky Blinders the last two days. Help me. So in my hotel room, it's our last night here. I'm watching Peaky Blinders, which I've been watching all week. Hashtag hotel life. It's almost dinner time. You can kind of see the sun going down. It's been awesome staying here. It's also been good just to be back here because I used to live here. Not at the hotel, but in Jacksonville. But I'm excited for my own bed. But tonight, it's going to be a little treat for our last night. We're actually going to go hang out with the guys for their dinner time. And we're playing trivia hosted by our very own Bobby Murphy. So hopefully none of the guys try to rely on me for questions because I probably won't be able to answer any. JK, I'm great at trivia. Sometimes. Sorry that my face looks like this. Can't really see it. Really shiny. Red. Looks like I got attacked by a bird. The price of trying to look pretty, I guess. So, see you all at trivia. <laughs> Are we ready? Are you, everybody switch papers. Charles, are you trading papers? Yes. Jose, first country to win the World Cup. Uruguay. Uruguay. Shh. In the MLS era, who was the first? Or spelling. Spelling. You can't spell Uruguay. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> Jose, spell Uruguay. U R U G U A Y. Are you gonna be that guy? What, what five countries qualified from Africa? 